Hi, my name is Douglas Muir, and I'm a professor at Felician University, and I run the iLab. So I went to school at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in uh, Daytona Beach, got an aerospace engineering degree, and received all my pilot license. Uh, became a, an airline pilot in 1986, so I'm dating myself. When I was flying one day um, I, in 1992, uh, my captain and I were complaining about our phone bills and uh, the problem was it was very expensive, there was no cell phones. So we did something about it and I went out and I bought two million minutes uh, on a 60 day float and started my first company called i &E Marketing. And I was known at US Airways as Dr. Dial Tone. Uh, I had 11,000 clients within the first year. I was buying it at 11 cents a minute, reselling it at 14 cents a minute. And with 11,000 clients, you can imagine. And we talk a lot as uh, airline people. So. That was my first business. Uh, AT&T subsidiary came in and, and purchased me. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this check and I'm like, you know, these entrepreneur whatevers make a lot of money. I couldn't even spell entrepreneur at the time. And I took that money and then I, um, I went out to uh, Charlottesville, Virginia, and I took over an Amtrak train station. Uh, I refurbished it and I brought in a restaurant called Wild Wing Cafe, which was the first franchise that we started. Uh, we ended up selling it, I think there was uh, 39 in the portfolio. There were three or four corporate and then 35 uh, regulars and uh, sold it to a private equity group in Charlotte. That sale of the restaurant was so exciting. It was my second sale. I, I knew then that I wasn't going to be an airline pilot anymore. So I continued on and started another company called Douglas Knight & Associates. And it had to do with the software that revolutionized the subrogation part of insurance collections. We were so revolutionized uh, that we got almost 90% of the insurance companies to use us. It was so big that a firm by the, called, by the name of Goldman Sachs came in and they purchased me. And so the, the Goldman Sachs subsidiary that came in and purchased me took over my company and then asked me to leave after six months. Uh, which is the normal way things go. And so that was my big hit. And, and from there, I had enough money uh, to start my own family-run private equity firm. So that means I wasn't asking for outside money, that it was my money, and I was creating, buying, purchasing companies, making them big, and normally selling them to private owners or private equity groups or Wall Street. And, and so I got really good at startups. So I did that about 10 times. Uh, 10 startups and I had 10 sales and in between there were some big failures and very big successes. Uh, at one point we had 7,000 employees worldwide. It was really large. So right now we have five teams as we call the cohort. Uh, they are going to be finished in two weeks uh, on a 10 week course and they are now ready to pitch for real money to investors. And the way you get into the iLab is that there was a pitch night in April. Uh, we had 19 applications, we had, uh, I think it was 10 pitches, and we took five companies. Uh, we give them $5,000 cash and 5,000 in kind, like software and products and stuff that they need. We take them and they go through this 10 week course through me, and I show them how to see if there's a market to how to interview potential clients, how to change, how to do their financials, how to do market research, market analysis, uh, competitor analysis. Everything that they need to be able to pitch to an investor like me. I'm Kayla Diaz. My name is John Rondi. Hi, I'm Dr. Susie Toliao. And I'm Dr. Daria Wazak. Hi, I'm Emily Baker. Hi, I'm Alpha Tarawali. And, and we're, we're Felician iLab Innovators. Innovators. I came to know about the iLab. Actually, at graduation, I ran into Professor Muir. 
and I was telling him about my business I plan on creating and he told me about pitch night. So something I learned here that was really interesting was uh, customer research. I did a lot of customer research in the beginning of the 10 weeks and also I didn't really have understanding of uh, accounting sheets and having to do all those accounting sheets here got a better grasp of it. You know, it was my friend, he's like, hey listen, I, I want you to meet this guy Doug, he's this and that, so I was like, yeah sure, I'll get on the phone with him. And immediately, you know, I, I sort of resonated with this guy and I'm like, okay, I want to do whatever I can to surround myself with that. And so he asked me to come in one day, I sort of pitched him the whole idea, he, uh, I, I would say he fell in love with everything that I had and, and asked me to be a part of this and I was like, of course. So immediately that day, I was like, I'm in. So we had to pitch, we had like to do our 10 minute pitch to a couple different judges and then once we were accepted we were you know emailed and said congratulations you are now you know in this program so really cool really exciting uh, it's been about eight weeks now of 10 week program and it's been nothing but just a learning experience we've been introduced to a ton of different people um, investors and, and entrepreneurs so it's, it's really been a good summer and in the iLab we have access to a whole bunch of help that includes uh, lawyers accountants, CPAs, and stuff like that to really get us to start and eventually grow. What haven't I learned really is, um, no, but I learned a lot um, through financial statements and putting all together that, even more fine-tuning our PowerPoint presentations, the whole aspect of starting a company and what it entails. I did not know it had that much work to be done, but it's been a great experience and I learned a lot. The most exciting part of this journey is just sort of unfolding the company and, and just it's a journey and learning about it along the way. It's a real process of discovery. And having the team to support you along the way and Doug, his passion, it, his passion is palpable. You can see how passionate he is about startups and about guiding us through the way and that makes it an enjoyable experience. They just finished up pitching again today. They did a great job. There's a little bit of stuff that we're going to have to work on before pitch night, which comes in two weeks. They're going to be pitching to three venture capitalists and one person from another university that has an accelerator. That's going to be the judges. Behind them is going to be a slew of angel and private investors. We're all, each team is asking anywhere between 90,000 and 200,000. So this is for real dollars. This is for real business. This is ready to rock and roll at Felician University, and we're really excited about that. Pitch night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoa. Yes, I'm nervous. So, uh, you know, we're all ready to go. Everybody, it's pitch night. We're really excited to be here. We have five fantastic teams pitching called the first cohort of 2019 at the iLab at Felician University. I hope you enjoy. Surprisingly well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah really everything excited. you expected? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we were prepared and we said everything that we knew. I mean, at the end of the day, we're experts and this is our baby and we knew everything and we're so excited yeah. to share that with everyone here. You know, it's exciting and, and listen, I could play, I could talk a big talk and say I'm not nervous before and then you get up there, you're like, all right, you know, it's, it's, it's there. So you get up and try to perform as well as you can and 
it was, you know, it was a great experience for sure. Great job. Um, all the teams really answered the question. The judges were hard. They were uh, they were pretty big on market. They were they weren't as tough on financials as I thought they would be. Um, but you know, when they were done pitching and they hit the escape, they were ready and they were answering every question just like this, and I couldn't be more proud of them. And right now they're talking to all the investors and all the investors are all over them. And so hopefully one comes up with a term sheet, as we call it, and, um, and we'll see, so stay tuned.